Today I have a video here on my Galaxy S3. So let me go ahead and just show you guys what I have on here. Go to About Phone. And this is actually going to be how to install the Android version 4.3 on your device. Um, this is a custom ROM. Uh, and it is for the SCHI535, which is the Verizon version of the Galaxy S3. This is installing Eclipse ROM uh, by an awesome developer named Nitroglycerin. He is way cool, does lots of this stuff. I've been following him pretty much since the get-go. I think his first phone he did ROMs on was the Droid X2. And uh, this is a really cool ROM. And I'm going to go ahead and show you some stuff on it, and then we're going to show you how to install it. So first of all, let's go ahead and just look at uh, the layout here. You have these toggles, and you can also switch them by doing that. Go to Notifications or go to Toggles. Um, different settings in here. Also, you can go ahead and go to Settings. And we're going to go look through this really quickly. Uh, one of the no keynotes you can do is this Eclipse mode, and it just does a darker looking interface right here really easily. You can switch that back and forth. Um, you have right here is all of your like interface stuff. You can see the headings under interface, and you can do status bar and battery things and all those goodies like center clock, which you can see up there, and battery bars and all that customization that he's pretty much famous for having all this stuff. And then you do have themes so it does have theme chooser and you can download your theme chooser themes from Google Play those features are in there clock widgets some stuff in there for that um, quick settings so that is these actually I think quick settings is actually this one let's turn this on really quick quick pull down that's interesting let's do right okay and left so it does different stuff there Here's your uh, tiles and layout. So if you want to add one to it, you can go ahead and go to, I don't know, let's see what I want to add, like NFC, for example. And then go ahead and hit this one, which, oh, that's a reset, sorry. I think you just go back, should save it. And yeah, you should have NFC down there now. So um, you can adjust all that stuff. Lock screen, you can go ahead and change what you want at different points. So we have unlocked that way, we're gonna go this way and let's put an application in there what do we want to set in there probably camera actually is probably pretty good so we'll go camera and now on your lock screen you're gonna have camera or unlock and you have other hot seats you can put other things at too go ahead when you're done hit save so you can see those features right there for sure very nice and easy as uh, battery there's some advanced stuff right here for doing some sound and some sensors and Heptic feedback and all that kind of stuff, you can adjust all that too, along with negative mode, like that, which is very nice um, features right there. Super user is built into the settings right here, so you're not going to see a super user app, it's built in, and then you already saw that we were on Android 4.3. 4 so, um, basic look right here. Uh, nothing too exciting there. Let's go ahead and go into our app drawer. This is what he's got with it when you install it. This is what it comes with. Um, and you can install light Google applications or dark Google applications. So he has those in there. It does come with Torch right there and Terminal Emulator. The rest of this is pretty standard like AOSP slash Google stuff. It does have CM File Manager right here which you can get in here and get into the root of your file system if you want to mess with that so that's a nice little uh, feature to have in there already I always use ES file manager but CM is also very nice to also so yeah it's pretty much most of the settings and how it looks it's just a nice clean look it does have this new um, wallpaper right here on the background which is pretty cool um, this is really based pretty much on AOSP for the most part, but then it's just got all of Eclipse or Elemental X or Nitrogus or whatever you want to call the guy. All of his little tweaks built into it. Um, and then like I said, everything is darked out. So you can see like a dialer right here is just like pretty much black and black and blue. And so all of his um, Google apps are blacked out, which is really cool. Makes a really neat looking um, Play Store and things like that. So anything that's white was now black. It's pretty much how it is. It's all reversed. Uh, so anyway, that's what we got. Let's go ahead and go ahead and see how to install this. Um, the requirements for this thing are going to be uh, have an unlocked bootloader. One, have root access, obviously. 
custom recovery, all those kind of things installed. Obviously download the ROM and the Google applications. I'll give you links to that stuff in the video description down below. I'm going to go reboot to recovery. You can also get to recovery by powering down and holding, I think it's volume up and power and it'll boot into recovery that way. So we're going to go ahead and get into recovery. My recovery system is uh, Torp Recovery. Um, I don't have the newest one in here right now. I'm running, I think, 2.5. But uh, newest one, this one, it really shouldn't make any difference. You should also be able to install this with Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, either way, it should be pretty much the same process. So what we're going to do is, the first thing I would do, whatever you're running right now, I would go ahead and do an Android backup, select everything, swipe across, do a backup. I have one recently, so I'm not going to show you guys that fact, but um, make sure you do that in case you get a bad install or something you want to be able to recover your phone. So we're going to go to wipes is the first thing. You can go to advanced, and you can select everything here, or you can just do a standard wipe, so I'm going to do that. And I wouldn't select everything in advanced. You got to read what the form says and what you should have selected. I'm just doing a standard wipe. So we're going to go back, go to installs, and I got to find where my files are at. This should be here. So we're going to go to downloads, is where they'll probably be at for you too. If you download them directly to your phone, that's what I would recommend. You can do it to your computer and then pull them off, put them on your phone. But if you download them directly, it's just easier. So. Right here it is, this is Eclipse version 5.1, build 5, and it's for the D2VZW, which is this device, that's its like code name. So we're going to select it, we're going to add another one, which is the Google applications below it, the inverted one, so they're blacked out. And you have 2 out of 10 files listed, and go ahead and swipe across to install. And then my favorite part of Eclipse right here is this little footnote right here where it says mounting system. And then he goes dot 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 like a horse. Gotta love humor in install screens. Awesome stuff right there. So we're going to let this install. We'll do a reboot. I'm going to show you boot animation. We'll wrap this up. Okay, so both our files installed. We're going to go ahead and just do reboot system. And you should see boot up. We're going to see that uh, boot animation like I was telling you. Um, should be anyway. Let's give it a shot here. There you go. That's pretty slick. I like the side of my guy at the bottom right there. Um, and then you're going to see the standard, pretty old school actually, Eclipse boot animation here in a second. And there it is. That's, I think, his original boot animation, if I remember right, from uh, when he did, like I said, the Droid X2, I think, was his first device. There you go, guys. When this thing boots up, obviously give it like five minutes or so. Go through your settings, and boom, you will have it. You will be running Eclipse ROM on the Galaxy S3 um, Verizon version, and it will be on Android 4.3, which is newest Android system right now, although KitKat is coming out, which is 4.4, but there's nothing out on it yet. So there you go. That's it. That's how to get to it. That's how to get running it, and awesome ROM right here by Nitroglycerin33. That's it. I hope you guys like it. As always, please check me out right there, rootjunkie.com. You can follow me on Facebook or Twitter on the side, and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.